Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Morricone, Senior HR Consultant with the Hawaii Employers Council. Did you know that as of July 2019, Hawaii has a new protected class? Act 178 prohibits employers from discriminating against applicants or employees because of their reproductive health decisions. Today, I'm going to share what this new law covers and some of the impacts and action items you'll want to consider as a result of this change. What does reproductive health decision mean? It's defined broadly by the law as the use or attempted use of any legal drug, device, or medical service intended to prevent or terminate a pregnancy or the use or attempted use of any assisted reproductive technology. This type of protection isn't a new concept. Many of Hawaii's new protections for reproductive health decisions would already be covered under other existing laws, such as the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, Family and Medical Leave, Title VII, and the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, or PDA. For example, per the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, an employee's decision to have an abortion or not have an abortion is already protected under Title VII. The PDA prohibits discrimination based on potential or intended pregnancy, and case law tells us the decision to undergo fertility treatment to get pregnant and the leave time needed to undergo such treatment would be protected under the PDA. In addition, infertility is considered a disability under ADA as an impairment that impacts the major life activity of reproduction. So employers should already be providing leave needed for fertility treatments as a reasonable accommodation. That being said, Hawaii's protections for reproductive health decisions solidifies these types of situations as now protected under our state law. What does this mean for you as an employer? First, employers need to be careful with any employment decision following an employee's own reproductive health decision. As an obvious example, it would be unlawful for a supervisor to pressure an employee to have an abortion to keep their job or to get a promotion or any other employment benefit. Because the term assisted reproductive technology is not specifically defined in the statute, protections under this law would also likely extend to decisions related to or involving things like fertility treatments, cryopreservation of sperm, and vasectomies. Secondly, make sure you update your policies, procedures, and employee handbook to include language for reproductive health decision as a protected category, such as in your Equal Employment Opportunity Policy. Finally, educate supervisors and managers about the updates to your policy and this new law. Engage in training or dialogue with management on what kind of conduct is protected and prohibited, so they know how to handle related situations appropriately or ask for help if needed. For more information, or if you have additional questions around this topic, let us know. The HR consultants at HEC are here to help. Thanks for tuning in.